with interest rates rising drastically over the last couple of months, many real estate investors are trying to figure out what does this mean for my strategy? How do I need to adjust what I'm doing in terms of investing in real estate? Or for some of you are real estate investing hopeful, you're trying to figure out, oh my God, do I need to change my strategies? Is it the right time to get in? And so I'm here to tell you exactly how you need to adjust your strategy and how you need to look at the marketplace. The Fed has increased rates by 75 basis points twice in a row over the last two meetings. And so that has set off a chain reaction, which is natural. Thus, mortgage rates have been rising, which essentially could cut into your profit margins as a real estate investor. And just to give you a little bit of a little bit of backstory on what these uh, interest rates are, the Federal Reserve controls what rates the banks lend money at, and that essentially is to combat inflation, right? So we have had a lot of inflation because the government has pumped a lot of money into the economy to stimulate the economy as a result of COVID through PPP. EIDL loans, unemployment. There's so there was so much money being pumped into the economy, trillions of dollars, and so it affects the value of the dollars that you have in your pocket today. And so prices of things have gone through the roof. And so in order to slow that growth, the Federal Reserve has decided to raise interest rates over the last two meetings by 75 percentage points each. So this will affect mortgage rates. This is the main area where you're going to be affected. You're going to be affected everywhere of your life by uh, the Fed rate, but the main area you as a real estate investor where you need to be thinking is mortgages, right? So many of you are employing the Burr strategy. If you're not familiar with it, it is, I have tons of videos on this channel talking about the Burr strategy where you will buy a property using hard money, right? You're not using your own money. You're using a combination of a hard money lender and your money and you're going to be in this loan the loan is interest only while you're rehabbing it and then it has a balloon payment pending the idea is that you will rehab this property within that maturity date of the loan and then refinance out of it into a typical regular mortgage so these rising rates right now with it being unstable you need to be thinking i know what mortgages are today I know what rate I'm going to get. I can kind of predict what my mortgage payment is going to be today. If I were to get a mortgage and this property appraises for what I wanted to appraise for once I'm done forcing the appreciation through rehab, um, I know what it would appraise for. And so I can kind of back into my mortgage payment because I know what rates are today. And so if you bought a property today, you don't know what rates are going to be in nine months. Over the past, I don't know, four years, rates have been pretty stable. And so if you're buying a property, considering that you're going to bury it or even just rehab it, whatever your rates are on that given day, <laughs> chances are they're going to be there in nine months. It's funny because I had a huge argument with someone not too long ago saying like, hey, when you burr, this is before inflation was a problem. I was saying, hey, when you burr, you're taking on a lot of risk. You're taking on the risk that the market is going to be what it is in nine months. And so I guess this person never been in a situation where interest rates were unpredictable. I worked in finance during the big Lehman crash, like I saw rates out of this world high and out of this world low, okay, <laughs> within a two year time span. So I saw it and I know that it's very, very likely to happen. Anytime you buy a property with the hopes that you're going to refinance it when you're done rehabbing it, you are taking on a risk. You are taking on a position about where you think the market will be. Okay, so how do you predict this? How you predict this is this. Inflation is a problem and the Fed is going to do everything they can to correct this. And one of those tools is the federal uh, Fed funds rate. So if you were to do a rehab, if you bought a property today, right? So as of right now, it is the beginning of August 2022. Really doesn't matter when you watch this video. If you buy a property today, you're going to take maybe nine months to rehab it. Okay. 
keep it in mind maybe you're going to take six months to rehab it and it takes you a couple maybe a month to clean it out and then another month to market it and another month to get a tenant in so therefore it's going to be about nine months before you can actually refinance it because remember you have to rent it out the appraiser is going to want to see someone living in that property so it's going to be about nine months before you refinance it this is what you do right now the fed funds rate is at two and a half percent commercial mortgages are around maybe five or six points above that so if you know that mortgages are about five or six points above that mortgages could be about seven seven and a half percent for you if they stay the same if you think that the fed will continue to raise interest rates in their next meetings for the next nine months what you need to do is look at the fed calendar when do they meet they meet about every 40 days i'm going to post the link below with a schedule of their meetings so when you buy your property you count how many meetings there are from now until when you go to refinance it and you are going to have to make some guesstimates you are going to have to make some predictions for yourself what do you think the fed is going to do over those next meetings this is why it's really, really important to pay attention to what's happening in the financial markets. Okay, so if you know that the Fed is going to meet five times between now and when you project that you're going to be done, say, okay, they're, they're probably going to raise rates 25 bips to 50 bips. You take that and you multiply it by five and then you add on a cushion, the difference between what the Fed rate is to what you think mortgage is going to be. And that's what your mortgage rate is going to be. You use the regular Google mortgage calculator, put, okay, my property is worth, I think it's going to be worth $200,000. i will be able to refi at 75%, so my mortgage will be one fifty. dollars You put in $150,000 and you put in that new rate, right? The increases plus what the spread is between the, the, the Fed funds rate and mortgages. And you put that number in, I will tell you what your mortgage is going to be. Now, here is the thing. This is really, really important. When we are in times of a really incredible inflation, you have some leeway to try to predict what your rent is going to be for this property if you plan on keeping it. You guys know I use Rental Meter to look at rents for a particular property. I love Rental Meter. I have a link below. If you need, get a premium account, use my affiliate link, okay? Get a premium account. I have a premium account. It is the best ever, okay? Rental meter, you're going to use that to predict what your rents are going to be. If you think that inflation is just this out of control, whatever the rent is today in nine months, you're going to have to make some predictions as to what it's going to be then. Because guess what? Inflation just doesn't affect food prices. It affects housing as well. So you're going to want to rent your place out at a market rate and that rate that number is not going to be the same number that it is today so you have some things to think about hey my mortgage may be higher than if i were to do it today but guess what i may be able to demand more for the rent then right so if you're in nine months right now we had inflation for i don't know what eight percent i don't know what it was in housing like some of you are yelling at this screen like 12 percent may have been 12 percent for inflation for housing for rents right so in nine months that's almost a year if it continue if you think that it will continue to grow at this rate take and add 12 percent onto the rent your mortgage is going to probably be more than 12 percent higher <laughs> so i'm saying all this to say it's not entirely a horrible thing right the inflation should help to soften the blow of the higher mortgage rate I hope that made it super simple for you and um, I love you all and don't forget, will work for wealth.